Yes. This is how you do your vascular arms. You've got to activate here. This is how you do veins. Vascular arms. Okay, yeah, your vascular arms. You're going to work the biceps and the forearms. So this is both. This is so you hold it there. You've got to feel it. Come down so slowly. Come on. Come down. You've got to feel it. Like if you just do this, that's swinging it nicely, but you don't activate it. You've got to really. Oh, like this, like this, so you feel it, you feel it there, yeah. so you come up, at that position, then you go down, you feel it as you go down, because if you do this, you don't feel it in the bicep at all, you've got to really pop out the arm like this, almost swing it, so it's like this, but right there, you can feel it in the bicep there. Coach, how do you get such a strong hand grip? Is that, is there, does, does that increase your? Yeah, I usually do like pull ups. Pull ups increase your strong hand grip. There's no pull ups here, but I'll show you now. I used to use um, a wrist strength for it when I, when I was traveling around South America. I used to buy, and when even in Saudi Arabia, when I was working in Saudi Arabia, I used to teach English. And I used to have like a squeezer. You can get a ball, but yeah. Like, I used, I had a grip strength from uh, Jiu Jitsu. Because I, I was a brown belt with Jiu Jitsu, and I was always the the small one. Everyone else was really big. So, my I needed good grip strength to, to, to throw them. So, yeah, for choking and for uh, Jiu Jitsu and throwing them around, you need good grip strength. And I'll show you how to get good. Yeah, because you have an amazing, strong grip. And yeah, it's like it. It's like uh, I would hate to get uh, punched by one of those. <laughs> no, but like, this is just from bone, bone strength. Like. Okay. Just hours and hours to punch a punch back, you know. I used to have like really delicate hands, you know, and I still do, you know, I still do because I need to strengthen up. But if you're going punch back, people say don't go, you wear grip, but don't wear, uh, wear wraps or wear gloves. But sometimes I do without wraps and gloves to strengthen up the arms. But you, but you get, you're, you're saying the grips are for the, uh, the spring action for the hands yeah, to, uh, I usually use the, the, or balls the strength or something. I just like when I'm on a long bus ride or on a long journey, I use the, and it, activates the, the veins and he activates the forearms and the makes you more vascular so yeah also this you come up you twist it round and you go round that really activates your butt bicep and same with this you don't don't do this to swing it that's not activating your bicep you've really got to come up like there and then yeah hold it there and slow it down you can really you've got to feel it in the bicep it's all comes from there, then you act that activates all the, mm. the veins. So that gives you the upper body strength as well as the, yeah, you feel the, the arm shoulders uh, strength? Yeah, your shoulders everywhere. Okay. And the bicep. Turn around. This activates all the bicep. And you've got to activate the other side of the bicep. If you don't feel like doing that, you can do hammer kills. Hammer kills. So you're facing this way. It's the same thing, you hold it, pull it out, don't just do this, because you don't feel it in the bicep, you've got to feel it in the bicep. So, what I do is, come up, same, the same as the bicep kills when you do that, you come all the way up, you feel it there, you've got to feel it there, as you come up. So try and move your arms forward one. <sighs> See, Coach, because a lot of us who follow you, that's important to us. We want that type of build. We don't want to be, like you always say, like gorillas. Yeah. We want to have that suppleness. We want to have that yeah. upper body strength. And you, 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 build, you burn more calories from resting if you, if you build your biceps. Because your biceps isn't part of your main torso. It's like, it's like, a, you know, it's like a little knot on the, on the end of your arm. <laughs> well, especially mine. I'm not got huge biceps. But yeah, it's like... So if you feel it, if the blood rushes through here for your arm more. So the more you pull the muscle, the more blood rushes through there. And that's when you burn more calories, when just, just by resting. And the uh, biceps is... And coach, do you have a series of uh, workout videos that you uh, 
Yeah. On the different parts of the body workout because I know personally I don't I have no clue when I go to the gym. Yeah, I'm gonna be making those, but now I just did a video of my full body workout and I'm gonna edit that and put it put it together into two shorts. But yeah, I'm gonna do how to activate the back, but I, I do full body workouts really because it just it feels good to me. But if you're after looking good, then obviously you do like chest day, leg day, all that kind of stuff. But I'm after functional. I like to do a full body workout because it keeps you. That's great for burning more calories because you work your whole body, activates all your muscles in your body. And I do that maybe six days a week, uh, five days a week. Sometimes I do seven, but you know that's only for advanced. And obviously, if you do seven. You have to, on the seventh day, you have to go a bit slower because it's almost really hard to do it. Yeah, I'll show you how to. I'm going to be doing, every week I'm going to be doing workout videos and how to. And now we finish off. One. 